Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Tile Lands, which is a tile-driven settlement builder game. So we have a grid to build on, and we have a stack of tiles that contain all the things that we can build. So things like farms and houses and meadows and rivers and all that kind of stuff. We then put the tiles down on the grid to get points. If we put the tiles down in a clever way, like putting a barn next to a farm for example, we get more points, and eventually more points means more tiles, which means we can carry on playing a little bit more. It's that type of game, it's one of those, which is good, because I do like that type of game. I really do enjoy a calm, take your time strategy game, which this very much is. It's all very laid back, it's quite relaxing, and it looks very pretty as well. It looks great, the art style's very nice. So I thought we should go and take a little look at this one, because it does look all rather lovely. And I think without any further ado, let's just jump right in, shall we? Let's go and build some lovely tile lands. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Tile Lands. Thank you very much indeed. Achieve high scores by placing your tiles in the most effective ways. Okie doke, we shall give it a good go. Click on the highlighted space to place your current tile. Okay, so that space there that's kind of wibbling around, you can only place tiles next to a space which already has a tile. Okay, so we can't go building out here in the middle of nowhere. We have to build adjacent to existing tiles. Okay, that's fine. So what are we putting down? Our next tile is a meadow tile. Okay, so the description is over here and the kind of little picture of what the tile looks like is over here. So we're going to put down a meadow tile and they look quite nice. Look, little kind of pretty flowers on them. So what do we get for that? So when we put down our meadow tile, we will get one point. So just one point, we need 35 to get to the next level. But do you know what? We have to start somewhere. So there's our first point. And then it does yield an extra point for every adjacent forest, ocean, or meadow. But I don't think we have any of those. We've only got these kind of, I don't know what they are, sort of stone statue monument monolith type things here. So there's only three of those. So I don't think we're going to get any extra points for putting our meadow down just here. And it does say plus one over there. So I think we're only going to get one point. So, okay, let's do as we're told. So pop that down over there and there we go. That's all very good. We put down our first tile. Very good. Nice. Thank you very much. I thought we did a very good job of putting that just there. Tiles have their own interconnected relationships, which will increase or decrease the points they score. Okay. So if we put a tile in a bad place, we could potentially lose points. Okay, that is definitely worth keeping in mind. You can also replace tiles that have already been placed. Okay, why would we want to do that? Try putting this new ocean tile where you just put the meadow. Oh, I'm sorry, meadow. I'm sorry, little flowers. We're gonna have to kind of destroy you and wash you away. Okay, so now we have an ocean. So an ocean has a base score of two. It yields plus two points for every connected ocean. Okay, that's quite good. Upgrades when surrounded with meadow, forest, and monument tiles to produce a lake. Okay, right, so we can change tiles around to become other things. Has the chance to generate fish. Oh, that's exciting. I don't know what we do with the fish in this game. I've got no idea, but we can have some fish. Okay, so let's put that in like that. Okay, so we get the two points. We've not got any fish by the look of it, but there we go. So the meadow is gone, and now we have an ocean. Excellent, you've replaced the meadow with a forest. Uh, no, with an ocean, I think it means game. It, it, that's an ocean. It's definitely blue and wobbly. It's very watery. It's not very sort of green and tree, but okay, little tiny delicious baguette there, but never mind. Keep in mind, if you do this with a tile of the same type, it will clear the space and you won't score any points. Okay, so if we wanted to blat a tile out of existence, we put the same type on top of it and it'll go away, but we don't get any points for it. Okay, I think that's what that means. Okay, no. Uh, the ocean is a tile which can be upgraded. Many of the tiles in tile lands will have these rules. Okay, so yeah, that turns into a lake, did it say? Try surrounding it with your upcoming forest and meadow tiles. Okay, right, so the game is telling us where to go with this, so I don't think we can click anywhere else. So let's just do as we're told. So meadow's gonna go there, and then... <gasps> A fish! A fish has appeared! Oh, lovely. Okay, there we go. A little tiny fish in the sea now. That's good. Right, so a forest is going to go just here. So we get three points that. So a base score of two, just for putting down a forest tile, and then it yields an extra point for every adjacent meadow or lake. Okay, so we'll get a point for the meadow, but that's not a lake right now, is it? That is currently a bit of ocean. Okay, and then it yields times two points for every connected forest. Okay. Right, so forests, we want kind of big, big sprawling forests because we get a lot of points there. Okay, so put that down. So that's three points. Okay, so 27 to the next level. And now we have another forest. So put that there. So that's another four points. Because I think we get a base score of two 
putting it down, and then times two because it's next to an adjacent forest. So we get times two points. Okay, so that's four points. That's good. Um, now we're back to meadow. I don't, I don't want to put the meadow here again. We want to put it down here and then put the forest there because we get a load of points for doing that. But okay, we'll do as we're instructed. Um, okay, there we go. Look, they're little sort of different, they're different tiles going on. So they're the same and the meadow tiles are the same. But look, that forest is different. It's got little sort of mushrooms on it and that one's different again. That's got the big kind of round trees with little mushrooms at the bottom. Okay, so six points for that. This is good. And the last one here, eight points for that eight points and then that ocean should upgrade to a lake i think it was okay so do that so eight points everything goes wibbly and there we go we have a lake and we leveled up congratulations thank you so much your ocean transformed into a lake there it is keep an eye out for other possible upgrades and transformations okie doke will do some tiles will also have special abilities like spawning quests or being activated Ooh quests okay that sounds fun try activating this monument tile by right clicking on it uh, oh monument tiles that's what they are they're monument tiles everybody okay so what does that do so there's a base score of zero the tile cannot be removed from the board okay so these are permanent fixtures this is where we sort of build from activation will consume adjacent tiles yielding points equal to their combined score okay so it's going to eat all the adjacent tiles it's going to eat the lake we just went to great lengths to make a lake and now we're going to devour it with our magic monument of eating. Um, okay, I mean, we have to do it because the game is telling us to. So go like that. So we get all the points that were equivalent to those and now they're cleared and we can start sort of putting stuff down again. But we lost our lovely lake. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Brilliant, thank you again. You've activated the monument special ability, absorbing surrounding tiles and rewarding the sum of points that those tiles would be worth. Okay, that's quite a good... That's quite a good point scoring thing. Info about the next tile you've got will show in the box on the left. You can also hover over tiles on the board and your deck to learn more about them. Once you reach the score indicated above, you'll level up, getting 10 new tiles to add to the deck. Okay, so yes, we have to keep kind of leveling up over here and then we get more tiles to play with. Be careful though, run out of tiles and it's game over. Okay, no, good luck, thank you so much. Oh, there we go, right, we're on our own. Okay, so we've got a meadow coming up, but then, we have a mountain, and then down here, we have another mountain. Okay, so a base score of three for putting down a mountain. Also, it does say zero points to the next level, which is a bit weird. Um, so a mountain upgrades when surrounded with wasteland tiles to produce a volcano. Ooh, what's a wasteland tile? Okay, we haven't got any of those right now by the look of it, but okay. Um, we'll toggle rain every 10 turns. While raining, adjacent wastelands will perish and yield a marshland. Okay, but we haven't got any wasteland tiles. I don't think so. These all look like meadows. Unless we turn the meadows into, into wasteland in some way. I'm not quite sure. Uh, okay, hang on. We've got a meadow right now. So let's put... We also do have an ocean coming up. So do we try our best to surround the ocean just there again? with our meadows and forests and things, uh, and then just, you know, turn it into a lake and get a big stack of points, because we did it before, went to great lengths to make that lake, and then the game made us destroy it, which was a bit sad. So I think maybe we get that back. So we'll put the meadow there. So that's connected. Right, so we've got to put this, this mountain, connected to something, connected to one of these things, or an existing tiles. Yeah, we can't put it just down here. Um, okay. Upgrades when surrounded with wasteland tiles. So how are we how are we gonna surround it with wasteland? Because it's got to be it's gotta be connected with something. Hang on, so if we put it there, it can never be surrounded, I wouldn't think, with wasteland tiles, because it's always gonna be next to that kind of monument thing of a jig. So it'll never turn into a volcano. I kinda wanna see a volcano because it sounds fun. Um unless we put it here. We could drop it there and then eventually maybe work out. We could put it here, actually. If we put it there, look, we might be able to then work out how to create wasteland tiles. I don't know how we do it, but let's put that down like that for now. Okay, so we have a little mountain, look, and it's going to start raining, apparently. Every 10 turns, it's going to rain. So adjacent wastelands will perish and yield a marshland. But okay, so we'll have to come back to wasteland in a bit because we haven't got that yet. Right, let's put our ocean in the middle. 
for only two points. Okay, eight points to the next level. 17 tiles, I think it's fine. And we have a fish. Oh, fish can be caught by an adjacent fishing village. Oh, okay. So in this kind of big list here, ooh, field. <gasps> Look, got a yellowy tile. Okay, so we can grow some grain soon. That's quite fun. Um, Okay, so yeah, we can get a fishing village as well, which will, if it's next to that, they'll start fishing the fishing the fish, and that'll get us points, I imagine. Okay, yield zero points. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not quite as exciting as it could be. So I think if we put a meadow... Have we got any forest coming up? One. So I think we keep that for down here, maybe. So put a meadow there, look. That's okay. Now we have another meadow. So put that maybe... Uh, we could have a load of meadows around here. But yeah, I think if we put the forest here, so that forest can go there. So put a meadow there. Then we have another mountain. Um, okay. Maybe... Can we took it, can it be diagonally adjacent? I think it can be diagonally adjacent to things. So if we put that mountain there, yeah, okay. So it can be diagonal, okie doke. 24 points to the next level. Got 24 tiles now, this is all going fine. So then yeah, I wanna put the forest there because that'll get some more points. So let's just carry on putting meadows up here, look. So we'll have four points from that. Then we have another ocean. Okay, let's put another ocean over here then and then we'll try and build around that as well loads of fish going on this is great stuff okay so put that there right and then put the forest there for eight points okay so boop there we get eight points and then that all changes and then we get 13 points for having a lake okay so then it says provides plus one point for every adjacent forest upgrades when surrounded with wasteland and monument tiles to produce an oasis okay so the next big job I would say is to figure out how we get wasteland tiles. How do we get them? Where do they come from? I don't know. I assume we have to get to a certain point here to then unlock wasteland tiles or whatever. But okay, let's see what we can do about that. But now we've got fields to look. Proper little actual fields. That's quite nice. So what do we get for a field? So a regular food. Oh, there's all sorts of farmy things going on. So base score of two. Okie doke. Yields plus one point for every connected field. And then times two points for every cardinal windmill. <laughs> I don't know cardinal windmill. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting them, but okay. So every connected windmill, I think it must mean. Okay, so if we have a great big load of fields with loads of windmills, we're going to get lots of points. Okay, so where do we put our lovely fields? Where can these all go? So I think maybe... Maybe we have some fields down here. Sort of a nice yellowy sort of farming area just here. Although, that will ruin our plans to turn that into a lake, possibly. Uh, we have got a forest. So we could put a forest over here somewhere. But yeah, we're going to struggle to turn that into a lake. Unless we just kind of build it up here. Maybe we get all our kind of fields and things up here. I don't think we get any kind of bonus points right now because we've not got anything kind of yellowy to put it next to. Do you know what? We'll build it up here. Let's go, uh, I don't know, just uh, there. There we go. Yay for field. Uh, now we have a pasture. Has the chance to generate livestock. Hang on, so what's that? A farmhouse. There we go. Like a sort of a little barn type thing, a classic red barn. Uh, base score of three. That's not bad. Yields plus three points for every adjacent pasture or windmill. Ah, right, so they need to be next to the pastures. Stocks food up from adjacent windmills up to five stock. If overstock will yield a pasture at the cost of all stock. Okay, so hang on. Stocks up food from windmills. So we want that to be next to a windmill. Have we got any windmills? There's one windmill all the way down there. So what does that do? Base score at three again. Yields plus one point for every connected field, plus three points for every adjacent farmhouse. Hang on, so every connected field. So if we had a field, a field, a field, a field going across there, and we put the windmill here, it would be connected to four fields. So we get an extra four points. Okay, um, and then what else was it? Plus three points for every farmhouse. Upgrades when surrounded with power line tiles to produce a wind turbine. Okay, right, so there are many exciting things going on in this game. What's well, raining down there, look. That cloud's gone all grey and miserable. It's all raining over there now. Um, okay, so we're going to kind of move forward through time with this, are we? 
are we going to move forward through sort of eras of technology? So right now it's sort of, you know, nice, simple farming stuff. But then eventually we're going to have power lines and we're going to end up with wasteland, which is a little bit bleak, possibly. But OK, um, right. Where can we put this then? So if we put a pasture there, we want that to be next to, hang on, for every adjacent pasture or windmill. So if we put a windmill in the middle and then we say put a pasture there. So put a pasture there. Okay. And then there's a sheep in it. We've got sheep and fish. Everything is good. Right. And then put that just there for six points because we get three for putting it down and three for it being next to a pasture. Okay. And then we want another field here. So I think we fill that up with field and then we put the windmill there and we're going to get a great big pile of points. So put another field just there. Okay. That's a lovely sort of set of points. Right. Here we go. Trees. Um, ooh. 12 points if we put it there as opposed to two or three if we put them over here do you know what i might go for the 12 points because that's quite good that's quite a chunk of points to get us up to the next level right another one of these so if we put that just there that's gonna be good i don't know how is this gonna work we're gonna have a windmill there we've got one two three more so one two three more fields here so if we put that there, and eventually, oh, hang on, it needs to be next to a windmill. One, two, three, hang on, well, how's this going to work? The windmill's going to be there. So if we have three fields like that, we want a windmill there, and then a pasture there to be next to the windmill, to then fill up with stock. Let's, is that what we're supposed to do? We're going to go for that, maybe. Right, so five points to the next level. Right, here we go. So another field. Very good. And now, over here, we can put a windmill down. So, we get three points for putting it down, three more points for those three fields, and three more points for the adjacent farmhouse. Okay, so do that, and there we go. Right, so we get some more tiles, up to 32 tiles flying through this. Okay, so now it's five points, and then we'll have... Oh yeah, look, hang on. The sheep's gone. The sheep's... Hang on, what's happened to our field? Are they actually harvesting it? When harvested, yields plus two. We'll perish and yield a wasteland after three harvests. Oh. So these turn into wasteland tiles. Okay, right, hang on. Can we pick up and move the mountains, please? <laughs> we want the mountains up here. Okay. The fields become wasteland tiles. Okay, I didn't know that. I kind of picked up on that. Um... Right, so they're being harvested, so it gives us plus two points each time. Yeah, we'll perish in year to waste and after three harvests. So at some point soon-ish, that tile there is going to become a wasteland. So we get to see what that looks like. Okay, uh, we'll put that wheat just there for another six points. Only 16 more points to the next level. We're doing pretty well at gathering all these tiles. Right, here we go. This is where we get to make ourselves another little lake, which is another great big pile of points. So if we put that just there, and then we've got some forest. That's still, the farm is still doing its thing, look. The farm earns points every time. Yeah, look, they've harvested that one now. Um, we could get we could get 18 points for putting some trees just there. Do you know what? We'll have that, please. We shall take a gigantic 18 points. They're still working through all these things here. Right, and then we've got two meadows. So we'll have a meadow there. They're going to carry on. Ah, there we go. Oh, hang on. That that did turn into, it looked like a desert. It kind of had a cactus on it and now it's gone. Okay. Yeah, that vanished. It did change into a different type of tile and now it's gone back to the kind of the base level tile. Unless this is wasteland. Is that what this is? Are these wasteland tiles? Hang on. So, oh, this is... Okay, <laughs> hang on. If we use the magic power of that monument, it'll scoop up all these things, but then that mountain will be on its own and it'll be surrounded with wasteland tiles. So would that then produce a volcano? Or has that wasteland tile just kind of bash? I don't really understand. I don't really understand. Joe, you know let's get this lake created. So let's put that there for five points. Trees... Tree. Yeah, that did the same sort of thing. Okay, I'm a bit confused. 24 points from those trees. Yeah, we'll have that, please. We shall take a huge pile of points for trees. Um, 
another 20 points for trees. Yep, there we go. Just stack a load of trees around that mountain. Uh, level up, got more tiles. We are going to have to start chucking things in the bin, I think. We are going to have to start removing tiles because we're going to run out of space, I feel. Right, so use our meadow there to then make that go wibbly. And now we have a lake. Okay. So we've got plus eight points from the lake, was it? Whatever it was. Okay, so now we have a lake. Remind me what the lakes do. Upgrades when surrounded with wasteland and monument tiles to produce an oasis. Okay. So how are we going to do... Oh, hang on. What's that? A village. Ah, okay. Right, we're getting different things. What's that? A barbarian camp. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a surprise. So barbarian camp is a base score of five... It yields an extra point for every connected barbarian camp because then they can just become bigger barbarian camps plus two points for every adjacent mountain upgrades when surrounded with ocean oil rig lighthouse fishing village monument and pirate village tiles to produce a pirate village that is very particular that's very very specific but okay um and then we've got villages here so plus one point for every adjacent forest meadow or lake Okay, one point for every connected village, town, or city. Okay, so build a bigger urban area, get more points. Upgrades when connected with three village tiles to produce a town. Oh, that could be quite good. Upgrades when surrounded with ocean, pirate village, oil rig, lighthouse, fishing village, and monument tiles to produce a fishing village. Has a chance to generate worker. Oh my word. <laughs> okay, there's a lot. there's a lot to think about in this game. There's a lot to think about. It's not just a case of putting down the tiles and just getting loads of points. You kind of have to think. You have to think ahead and plan, which we're not good at in the Geek Cupboard. Okay, how can we best put those down? I would like to, if we could, get a big town set up. That'd be quite good. So we've got two of those there. So they will be being placed. Um, okay, okay, right, hang on. I need to think about this. So we can put a meadow down on an existing meadow tile to chuck it in the bin. We get rid of it. It destroys it. We get no points, but it does kind of get rid of it. So the village can be next to upgrades when surrounded with ocean, pirate village, oil rig, lighthouse, fishing. Village. Okay, so we can put things on top of other things, of course. We can just sort of black things out of existence. Let's not forget that. I kind of did forget that, but okay. So the village is, hang on, remind me again, surrounded with ocean, monument right we're gonna struggle with that aren't we and then what was the barbarian thing uh ocean oil rig lighthouse fishing village oh crikey it's okay hang on a minute this is very complicated um so we want i think does it count as being surrounded on those sides as well i'm not entirely sure so if we let's just get some points for putting that down for now we'll have five points for putting that just there that's okay. The farms are going to carry on doing their thing. 43 points to the next set of tiles. But we have got 45 in the stack. So we should be okay. So can we work out how to do this? So if we can create a village. Or if we could get three village tiles next to each other to make a town. That would be quite good. I'd quite like that. But yeah, they have to be next to oceans, pirate villages, oil rigs, lighthouses, fishing villages, and monuments. Okay, we've only got the three monuments, and we have an ocean tile just there. So what if, what if, we put our villages, put one village here, we'd have to sacrifice the lake, possibly, unless we put it there, because that farm's going to be dead soon anyway, that field's going to be gone. So what if, what if we put an ocean tile here is this what we want to do this could be all sorts of awful okay hang on a minute but then then how are we going to do that upgrades when surrounded with ocean to produce a fishing village um okay let's try and get a fishing village okay so we're going to put that there and ah, look that just turned to wasteland but then the wasteland went away maybe we can't retain wasteland maybe it's a thing that we can't retain right now or something i'm not quite sure right another meadow um I mean, they don't redo really very much, do they? They're not overly useful. Four points. Just pop it there for now. We can always sort of annihilate that with something else. There we go. So these tiles are kind of fading away. There's a lovely fish. That's good. So then if we put another one of those there, 
Okay, so a bit of a mini kind of ocean forming and the fish are swimming around. That's fun. Right, barbarian camp. Let's put them down here, look. <laughs> Let's put them next to the rainy mountain. They can be down here. Ooh, okay. There's a barbarian. Pillages tiles via destruction or degradation. Will disappear after 15 turns or three pillages. Okay. So they're going to go and do some pillaging. Okie doke. Uh, and the village can go just there. That has a chance to produce a worker. But it did not do that. Okay. And then another village. Um, okay. How can we how can we get this other village in? If we put it here. If we put that there. Then that's not going to. We can't make the fishing village then. Maybe we just put the other village... I don't know, where can we put this other village? <laughs> Let's put it down here for now. Let's drop it out of the way. Um, another barn. What if we put it here? Six points to you know, be next to that pasture thing. Right, that's gone. That field is now gone. That's completely destroyed. Oh, you don't. Right, so another... Ah, another barbarian camp. Okay, took that into the corner. Uh, oh, there are barbarians all over the place. There is much in the way of pillaging happening. Um... Right, and then we've got another... Hang on, so maybe we try and turn that into a fishing village because we haven't seen one of those, and that might be fun. And then we try and turn this bit down here into just a town because there is another village there. So if we put that there, two villages next to each other, that's good. Right, another ocean tile. That can go there. So that's now three of those. So we need to surround this with a few more things. Right, let's put that there. And that should turn into a town, it said there. Upgrades when connected with three village tiles to produce a town. Although that does not appear to have connected or worked properly. Uh, okay, maybe it'll take a while to upgrade that. Uh, right, another one of these. We'll pop that there. Okay, <laughs> that's all fine. Right, we've got many barbarians doing all sorts of nonsense now. Right, a windmill. What can we do with... Oh, they've got, we've got loads of fieldy tiles coming up now. We don't really want these. We want to... I want to get the village set up. Can we get some water around here, please? Um, what was it again? Ocean. Oil rig, lighthouse, fishing village, and monument. Yeah, we see a load of ocean. A load of ocean, and then that can become a little fishing village. Maybe... Maybe we put some stuff around here, then. Because we can get rid of this. Right, so let's go to just here and put down a windmill. Okay, right, so we've got a windmill. The fish are swimming around. We'll then have... Maybe down here can just be fields. Because we've got loads of fields going on. So we'll have a field. And that's harvested that already. And then we'll have another field. And they're all doing their stuff. Oh! Hang on. That's now wasteland. Okay. Right. So when... Okay, hang on. This is a bit confusing. So... When that, when they go onto it, when the barbarian went onto that field, they pillaged it, and it's now remaining as a wasteland tile. Whereas when the farmers use the tile up, it goes away entirely. It says they will perish and yield a wasteland after three harvests down here for the field, but they tend to vanish, or that one remains. Hang on. Hang on. If we put one there, barbarian, go and pillage that. Oh! And that became... Oh, I know what's happening. When it says it yields a tile, it's going to appear in the stack, isn't it? It's appearing in the stack. So I bet when it says it yields a tile, at some point we are going to pick up all those wasteland tiles. They're going to be in here somewhere. We just have to get through all the other ones we've picked up first. So that tile there that was wasteland has probably gone to the bottom of the stack of tiles. Oh, I see. Right, I am with you, game. I see. Okie dokie. Oh, that's going to be quite good. We have got a lot of barbarians. <laughs> Goodness me. It's very barbarian -y around here. Okay, we'll have that. They are doing some grand pillaging around the place. Um, okay, we'll put the pasture up there because it's next to those things. And they can work with that. That's all fine. 18 points to the next level, but we do have 40 tiles remaining. I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> this is going to be good. I don't know what the high score is, by the way. I don't know what a good score is. I mean, if we get over a 1,000, is that a good achievement? That would sound good to me. Um, okay, put another windmill in that corner to get some more points from there. The barbarians are running amok there. They are running around causing quite a lot of problems. Where can we put this sort of 
pasture thing. Uh, we'll put it there for now. Um, I don't know if it reworks really next to those things or not. I'm not quite sure. Here we go. Plenty of ocean. Okay. Ocean tile there. That's good. Then we have... Oh, there we go. We've leveled up. Did we get enough points to go to the next level? Yay. Right. And then we've got a meadow. Um, I don't really... What do we want to do with this meadow tile? It's not very exciting, is it? Uh, let's put it in that corner for now. It's two points and we'll just get rid of it with another thing at some point in the future. Um... Okay, so we've now got two wasteland tiles there, look. They haven't gone away. They've not disappeared. So they haven't gone down to the bottom of the deck or whatever. Okay, maybe. Let's put that there for now. And if these all turn into wasteland, then the mountain might eventually be surrounded by wasteland and it'll turn into a volcano, which is exciting. However, we've now got loads of ocean, so we should be able to get that village upgraded to become a fishing village okay so we'll have an ocean there that's 10 points that's quite good we'll have 12 points for that because it's next to lots of ocean and okay those tiles have got his wasteland look oh yes okay right we're gonna have a volcano soon everybody right i didn't realize that was what happened there so they do go into your deck it sort of it produces them it uh yeah yields one but it doesn't remain on the board. It goes to the deck. Right, here we go. So 14 points. And that will change into a fishing village. Which is exciting. And there we go. Oh, look. It's got, it's in the sea. Okay. <laughs> That's good. So now what does that do? We'll capture adjacent fish each turn. Yielding plus three points per fish. Okay. There's a load of, there's a load of ocean around you. So that should be quite good. So maybe we leave that on its own in the corner there. We'll put that over there. So wash away the meadow and stick an ocean there, because that's good. We have got a load of boring meadow tiles coming up. But then, yeah, we've got wasteland. So we're going to put this down here, I think. So why don't we, for now, just put... We'll just put that meadow there. And then we'll just... just oh, hello. Who are you? A worker. A worker. What do you do? When activated, the worker will be expended to upgrade the tile it's currently stood on. Oh. Hang on. So can we upgrade... Can we upgrade the... I'm going to right-click and upgrade a mountain. Uh, oh! Oh, hang on a minute. That's... That's not become... That's a, a mine of some sort. A quarry. <gasps> oh! So the workers that are generated from the village sort of housing areas stand on tiles and can automatically upgrade them. Oh, that's very good. Okay, right. That's quite fun. We can get 56 points from just putting a forest just there. Yeah, we'll have that, please. Right, here we go. Wasteland. Right, this is very good. So, I'm going to have to work around that mountain now because that mountain has turned into a quarry. So what does that do? So, upgrades when surrounded with an ocean, oil rig, fishing village, pirate village, lighthouse, and monument tiles to produce an oil rig. Oh my goodness me. So are we now going to get fishing villages appearing in the deck? Is that now, because we've unlocked it, is that going to happen? Oh, this is, this is quite complicated. This is way more kind of in depth than I thought it was going to be. Um, okay, yeah, it requires some actual serious sort of thinking about. How about then? So what does it do? Gains plus X coal every five turns, where X equals a number of adjacent quarries plus one. Right, hang on. There's, there's mathematical equations going on here, and my brain is melting. Um, and then spend 15 coal to gain plus one power station. Okay, so somewhere we're going to start stacking up coal. Okay, dog. So uh, it's not going to do much. So uh, coal every five turns, where X equals the number of adjacent quarries. Okay, so maybe there is a mountain coming up. Maybe we put a mountain, say, just here and eventually hope that one of the workers stands on it and we can upgrade that into a quarry and then we can start getting some coal. Maybe that's what we do. But down here, look, we want to get some wasteland in to go around that mountain to turn it into a volcano because that sounds like a fun thing to do. So how about we get rid of the barbarian camp there? Okay, I think the sheep just did something. And then more wasteland there on that barbarian camp. That's okay. Then we've got a pasture. Really, what do they do again? Has a chance to generate livestock. Um, what do they do, though? You would a pasture. It just, we just get livestock. Um, 
Okay, we'll put it there for now. Just, it's two points, that'll do. Right, here we go. So another mountain. So if we put that, I don't know, just there. There we go. And then maybe at some point, they'll nip out and change that around. Here we go. There's a worker there. There's a worker there. Can we, mo can we move the worker? Can we tell the worker to move somewhere else? Because, yeah, so if we activate the worker, will be expended to upgrade the tile it's currently stood on. So let's not use them on there. Let's see if the worker then moves around. How does that work? I'm not quite sure. Uh, we'll put that just there, because that's another 18 points for a great big kind of load of ocean around here. Ah, here we go. So, if we right-click you, does that upgrade? Oh my goodness me. Okay, right, we've got Settlements Ahoy coming up. If right-click the worker just there, does that mean that that's going to upgrade to a town? Let's right-click and see what happens. Um... No, it's not doing anything. The worker can't upgrade that. Okay, what if we put that just there? That's good. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, it has to upgrade with three other ones. Okay, upgrades when connected with three town tiles to produce a city, you say. Okay, hang on. We can have a village there. And uh, where's the worker gone? And a village here. And we'll have... But the workers come back. Can we right click? No. And a village there. And then if we put... Ah, hang on. The worker is saying, hey, I'm still in this meadow. I can upgrade that. What happens to a meadow? Well, should we upgrade the meadow? Or do we wait for them to go somewhere else where we might want to upgrade another thing? Do you know what? Let's upgrade the meadow, shall we? Let's see what a meadow upgrades to. What happens with that just there? It becomes... Is that a park? Is that like a little park? Yes, it is. Okay, passively yields two points for every adjacent village, town, or city. Okay, so we are going to put... Oh, hang on. Our other village is going to be just here. Right, so another watery tile. So put that there for 20 points. So the fishing village is doing a grand job over there. There's not much fish. They're doing a really good job. Um, another one of these things. Not really bothered about that. What if we put it there? It's connected to a field. It's connected to a windmill. That's all fine. Pop it down here. That's all okay. Oh, the wasteland tiles have gone. The wasteland tiles have just vanished in their entirety. When did they go? Did they get pillaged or do they just disappear? Oh, I don't really understand how we're supposed to surround the entire of that volcano with 10 wasteland tiles if they disappear. Not 10. Uh, what's that? Uh, eight. With eight wasteland tiles, if they disappear, do they just vanish after a while? Or is it the barbarians? Did the barbarians go in and kind of ruin them? Right, hang on. Go to here, look. Because that will create another little town type thing. Okay, we're scoring loads of points from doing other things. Okay, so a lot of things happen the longer you play. Okay, right, let's put... I mean, the barbarian camp is there. What if we blat the barbarian camp with wasteland? Okay. Oh, it became marshland. And now the marsh... Oh, because it's raining over the mountain, that then got added to the stack. Okay. So if we do that again, we're going to get another marshland tile. How are we ever going to get a volcano? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Chris, been surrounded with wasteland tiles to produce a volcano. So we'd have to work out... That's quite a situation, I think. That seems quite a hard thing to do. Because every 10 turns, it's going to rain, which means that, yeah, it's going to turn all the wasteland tiles into marshland. So, we're going to have to time. You'd need six. Is it six? One, two, three, four, five. No, eight. We need eight. So, you need eight wasteland tiles and start placing them the instant it stops raining. Otherwise, it's going to rain on them and then they're going to turn into a different type of tile. Okay, getting a volcano is quite difficult, I imagine. That's got to be quite a tricky thing to do. Um, do we? Do we use our monument power up there? And just hoover those kind of things up. We need 226 points. But just hoover those things up. Uh, jump, we'll put that there, look. We'll get another uh, marsh tile thing. Don't know what they do just yet, but we'll find out. Uh, and then we could put a forest there. That's 48 points. That's 40. Okay, we'll have 48 points. Thank you very much. That's quite good. Yeah, do we use that thing there to... Ah, no, but our forest is over here. And we have got a gigantic stack of forest tiles coming up. So maybe we should keep that just there and blat these things in the corner with forest tiles, possibly. Um, we'll put the field there. 
because it's next to a windmill, that's going to get some points. Okay, right, trees and meadows and things are coming up. Uh, right, we'll have a tree just there, 36 points. We are very close to a thousand. We're very close. Oh, hang on, we've gone over a thousand because I think they did some fishing. Um, okay, a, a rubbishy meadow. I don't know, put it... <laughs> what if we put it there and then we can just put some trees back on the top of it and just get a load more points? Uh, yeah, let's do that. So five points. Yay, five lovely points. We now need 60-something to the next level. But put that there. That's 90 points for a great big load of trees. <laughs> We're all about the trees. This is brilliant. What's that? Oh, another windmill. Uh, and then we'll have 80 points for some trees there. Okay, trees are good. A big forest is a good thing in this game. Um, we'll have 44 points for some more trees there. Thank you very much indeed. Um, and then we've got some more here. We'll have 72 points. And I think we also took a sheep away from that as well. Not quite sure what happened with that. Uh, 52 points from some more connected trees. That's pretty amazing. Um, and then we've got loads of farm things coming up again. Right. So put that meadow just there for just four points. But that's okay. Right. We're back with wasteland again. What else can happen with this? So, a lake upgrades when surrounded with wasteland and monument tiles to produce an oasis. Is it worth... We'd have to remove that ocean tile there temporarily. But if we get all those set as wasteland, is that... Oh, no, but we can't do these two just yet. They'd have to wait because that would rain on them and turn them into marsh and then they vanish. Maybe we'll put wasteland there. And we'll see what happens to it, because it does tend to disappear the way, so I don't fully understand how that works. Ah, here we go. Our first marshland, and it's just 15 points. It's just 15 points wherever you put it. Okay, we'll pop it into the corner then. Um, oh, two workers have just spawned. I don't think we can do any upgrades with where they are, but maybe if they move about a bit, we could do some upgrades. That would be quite good. Um, then we have a windmill. Um... I mean, yeah, it kind of pays to just kind of overwrite things because those forests are now no longer scoring us points. But eventually we'll get some trees again and we can just put them back over here and then just get more points. So, yeah, we'll put a windmill there because it's connected to that. And, yeah, loads of stuff is happening. The worker did not bother going to a thing we can upgrade. Uh, we'll have a field there. That's connected up. They've just harvested that. Right. You've got... Ah, that's what we want. So you upgrade that thing. So now... We should be generating coal. Stocked coal 28. Oh, hang on. Spend 15 coal to gain plus one power station. Okay, I'm, I'm getting... We're going to do that. We've just picked up a power station. Okay. Right, and then we've got... How much stock coal do we have? Another 15. So we could do it again. Okay, we've got two power stations. Okie dokie. Um, I think they're right at the bottom of the deck, though. <laughs> There's going to be a long time until we get those. Let's just put these down over here. Look, we'll just fill this up with farming stuff for now. Um, yep, yeah, okay, we'll get seven points for that. 270-ish points to the next level. The fishing village is doing quite a good job. Can we upgrade a field? No. Another windmill can go just there. Just get more points, please. That's generating lots of coal. Um... We've got another windmill. Ah, oh, no, let's put it in the middle. That'll do. Just windmill corner now over here. Uh, a pasture is neither here nor there. I'm not that bothered. Put it there. That's another two points. Right, here we go. So marshland. We'll put a bit there for 15 points. And then we'll put a bit here for 15 points. We've got, I was going to say we're working through the tiles. We've got 48 tiles left. <laughs> so many tiles. And then... Yeah, look, that hasn't gone. That wasteland is still there. So, right, 32 points for connecting those trees back up again, because there are many trees. Then we've got loads of meadow. We've got four meadow tiles coming up. Uh, we'll just put them over here, look. Let's just annihilate these things. Yeah, yay for meadow. Stuff is going. Oh, space to fast forward. Oh, okay. So, okay, I can confirm that spacebar is not pause. Spacebar is, in fact, the opposite. It's make things go quicker. Um... Okay, so if we do that, and then just press space, uh, yeah, right, they do all their things a lot quicker. Okay, right, that makes sense. We'll have two points for that, thank you. And then we'll just put meadow, I don't know, just there as well, that'll do. Ideally, I want more town things. Because if we get 
what was it again? Hang on, hang on. What was that? So upgrades when connected with three town tiles to produce a city. It would be quite good if we could get a little city set up. We're on 1,800 points. <laughs> again, that might be rubbish. It might be amazing. I've got no idea. Um, let's put, let's put some water just there. Why not? Gives more sort of uh, more water for the fishing village to go and fish in. Right, we've got some trees coming up. Put that there for 36 tree points. Thank you. Oh, botherations. There was a worker stood there and I didn't see. That's a nuisance. Can you upgrade that thing? No. Okay, trees back over there. Okay, so we're catching more fish. Flying through the points. Okay, right click that then. And we have another park. Okay, lovely. A little park has been set up. Ooh, we can upgrade a forest. Yeah, do it. What does that become? A lumber mill was that. Hang on, it's doing. It's thinking about life. Lumber mill plus one point for every connected forest. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Stocks wood from connected forests can spend 10 stock to gain a factory. Oh, we can have a factory. Okay, hang on. So put that down there. Fast forward all the stuff that goes on each turn. Uh, you can upgrade that to a park because that'll get us more points for now. That's fine. Just generating lots of points. Uh, put the other thing down there. Speed through, please. This is all good. Um, oh, now I've got a load of farming things again. We don't want farming things. <laughs> We've got so many tiles. 350 points to the next level. Okay, put that there for now. Right, fast forward through the turns, please. Um, that's not going to do much. Adjacent farmers. I'll put that in the corner. That's 12 points. That's not so bad, actually. That's not too bad. Um, oh, there's there's so many farm tiles. So many of these to go down. Okay, let's just chuck them all in this corner. Just chuck them all in the corner and just get as many points as we can get from farmy tile stuff. Okay, we're down to our last farm tile. That's a pasture tile. That's okay. But down here, we do have the option to upgrade that forest into another lumber mill. I think we do it. Let's do that show. So there we go. Another lumber mill comes in. How much wood do we have in that lumber mill now? In fact, both of them. That one is going to make much right now, of course. But I think it might do when we turn these back into trees. Um, okay, hang on. We went to the next level. We now need 694 points. Good grief. Um, yeah, so how much has that got? Current stock zero. Current stock 12. Okay, so if we right-click to activate that, we now get a factory, which is exciting. Okay, so a factory is going to come in. And now... We've got a villagey tile and a village tile and the pesky barbarian thing. Joe, you know we could put the barbarian camp over there and then just put the water back over the top of it and wash it away immediately. Um, okay, so I think we want to get these connected up. So upgrades when connected with three town tiles to produce a city. So ideally, if we could get three... Yes, yeah, so we need a town tile here, look. So we need one just there and then one, I mean, possibly just here or just there, maybe. So how about, for now, put a village just there. And I guess points because it's next to those lovely parks. And then we've got lots of water tiles coming up. Um, I mean, what do we do with those? Do we just chuck them along here somewhere and then just black them with trees later on? Let's do that, shall we? Those trees have got... Oh, the trees are being removed by the lumber mill because, of course, they're cutting them down. That's how that works. Okay, we'll have a load of water in the corner. That'll get to some good points. Gang on space to fast forward it. Come on, there's so much going on now. We need all the fast forwarding you can give us. So another water tile. Fast forward that one. Points coming from parks. Points coming from everything else. Um, anything that we can upgrade? Nope. Like that. Okay, fast forward again. 49 tiles left. <laughs> We're never going to run out of tiles, I don't think. Right, put that down into the corner. So that's now two of those. So another two of those need to go in, but the last one needs to go there. So then they'll zoom into that last tile there and become a town. So we three towns next to each other. That's what we want. Okay. So yeah, we're slowly getting toward that. Um, you're running out of wood. We're running out of trees for these folks to chop down. Okay. Uh, just put that there for now. That'll do. That's a nice stack of points. 400 points to the next level. It seems like a lot, but I mean, we earn quite a lot each turn from just sort of passive stuff. How about then we put barbarians there? Okay, so there we go. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. It's become a little, it's become a little kind of a pirate village. Upgrades went so brown. Oh, 
Oh, okay, right. Sudden moment of realization. If it can't be surrounded by things around the edge, it that doesn't count. It doesn't count. So because that pirate thing, whatever it was, pirate camp was it, we put down. Because it is now surrounded by... Um, oh, hang on, I can't find a pirate thing now. But because it's surrounded by water and a monument, and that's what it is surrounded by, because it's on the edge, those, those tiles there don't count because they're not on the kind of the grid. That's now turned into a pirate village. Oh, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't taken that into account. That's how we'd get the mountains set up as volcanoes. We'd have to put them in the corner and then find three... That's what we do. Find three ways to go boop, boop, boop. All done. Brilliant. Oh, okay. There we go. We've just learned something key to everything. Um, okay. I mean, do you want to keep... Let's wash the pirate village away. Because now we can just keep putting pirate villages back into that corner. And they get us a lot of points, which is good. Right, put that just there. So that I don't think will combine to become a village. It's got to be four of them. So it combines with three others. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, right, a bit of water can go just there. This is all good. And there is a bit of wasteland. Okay, but now we're going to try and put it around this thing. So let's see if we can get wasteland around that thing. I'm not entirely convinced, but... Uh, okay, we'll put a bit down just there, look. That's okay, fast forward through time. A load more farmy things. We don't want farmy things. I want villages. I want villages and water stuff and trees. Give me some trees, please, game. I want some lovely trees. Oh, this is exciting. So we have one field tile left to put down, but then look what we can put down after that. We've got power stations. Okay, so field tile can go just there. That's fine. So pop that down there. That can get us a load of points. We don't want to upgrade that mountain. I think we want to leave that mountain alone. I don't think we can ever do anything with it. I don't think we can ever turn it into a volcano. We need to put one of those in the corner to do that. But yeah, we've learned that lesson now. So what does a um, what does a power station do? We'll take all coal from adjacent quarries every five turns. Activation will reward a power line for 15 stock coal in the power station. Cities connected to power stations with power lines will yield plus 25 points at the cost of 20 coal. Okay, okay, so... Uh, much to unpack. Let's try and unpack that. So, it'll take coal from adjacent quarries every five turns. And here are two quarries. So we want to put them, we want to put our two power stations, because we have two, here and here. They're then going to start generating, uh, what is that? Yeah, we a power line for 15 stocked coal in the power station. Cities are then connected to power stations with power lines... Okay, so we can hopefully get a city set up over here. Maybe that should be our end goal, get a city. Because that does seem like quite a good thing. If we get a city, that's kind of it. We go, hooray, we've got a city, and we've kind of achieved a great thing with power. So that's what we should do. So if that city can then be plugged in with into the grid, because we're generating power with that thing, then yeah, 25 points at the cost of 20 more coal. Okay, we do have 100... We've got 206 coal stocked up. So put a power station just there. We do need a gigantic pile of points to get to the next level. Put that one there. Um, we did get rid of the other lumber mill thing because it, it, there, there's no trees. It wasn't doing anything. So there we go. Um, a bit of water can go. I oh, know, just there for now. All right, here we go. Oh, this is going to be good. So if we put that there, it blasts that park out of existence. But they then go into here, look. That has then become a town. So now we need one more town. If we could get another town over here, for example, we could get those four tiles turned into villages, and there are three coming up. Then that'll change into a city. The four towns will join together to become a city. And then eventually, these things, uh, every five, all coal from adjacent quarries every five turns. Okay, so we need to wait a little while to generate some power lines and then connect the city, which we're going to make eventually uh, connect that up. Okay, hang on. Let's put that in the corner, look, because we know that becomes a little pirate island. I do like that. It's got a little kind of X. So follow the uh, follow that little sort of map marker thing, and X marks a spot kind of thing. Right. So we're going to lose some stuff over here. We can always put it back. Look, it's going to be fine. So how about for now, we put a village there, and we've got 37 tiles left. I imagine we can get to 455 more points. Bit of water can go there. There's another 10, plus all the other things happening. Right, other village. There. That's good. 
Uh, do we want to upgrade that? I don't think we do want to upgrade that mountain. I would love to have seen a volcano, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, and then we've got another barbarian thing. So what if we just put that? What if we put that there? And then we just get rid of that mountain. That mountain is a bit rubbish now, isn't it? It's a bit pointless. Right, okay. So barbarian camp there. Right, third. But we can get it done. If we put that there, it will blat our lake, unfortunately, which is a little bit sad, but never mind. Uh, and then water just there to turn that into a little kind of pirate island as well. Very nice. And then put that there. So that destroys the park. They'll merge into here. That becomes a town. They'll merge into... Okay, we have our very first city. So it yields plus five points for every connected city. Oh, good grief. Upgrades when surrounded with wasteland tiles to produce a temple. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. I didn't think a temple would be on the list of things we'd get, but okay. Uh, right, we'll have a meadow. Just chuck these pointless meadow tiles down. Uh, there's quite a lot of these. There's a few of these. So, okay, hang on. Let's just get some meadows down. And then some forests as well. Oh, hang on. There's a mountain. We could try and put the mountain into the corner and then surround it with wasteland. That'd be quite fun. Let's give that a go. But first things first, let's get rid of all these kind of tiles here and let's get rid of all the forests as well. Let's sort of put them over here. Look, just so the lumberjack's got something to do. Okay, we have 23 tiles left and we need 121 points to get to the next level. So I think we are coming to that point where it's now becoming a little bit trickier to gather enough tiles to carry on. But we should be okay. I think we can get to 121 more points. So we shall put the mountain down in that corner and then... If we're lucky, we might be able to get that surrounded by wasteland and turn it into a volcano. Just because that sounds exciting, because we haven't seen one of those yet. Okay, got some ordinary tiles to put down. Let's put that, I know, just there, because that can be worked by those things over there. That's all very good. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, we want to get ourselves some um, some power lines. Can we do that activation? Yeah, so reward a power line for 15 coal in the power station. It's got 270 in it. So, okay, we'll do that. And we've got ourselves a power line. Okay. I think we might have got quite a... I think it's generating a lot of... Okay, we're... Okay. We're gonna, just going to have a <laughs> the greatest power grid that there ever has been. Um, our meadow tile just vanished there. Why did our... Was there a meadow tile there and it's vanished? Why did that just vanish? Okay, I don't know why that vanished. Right, okay. Here we go. So, well, yeah, put some trees just here. That will do. Speed through time. Yeah, we'll get to the next level. Look, and we have got a bajillion power lines now, <laughs> which seems a little bit silly. I only wanted, say, three. I just wanted to kind of connect around here. But no, we've got 12 bajillion of them. Okie doke. Oh, look at that. When we have a pirate island, they don't go around on foot. Oh, no, that's not good enough for the pirates on the pirate island. They have a little boat to look. They go and do some boaty pirating. Oh, that's quite fun. Uh, okay, right. So we've got some water. So put that there. That's going to be fine. So get that done. There we go. Oh, a factory. OK, so we get five points. Can spend five lots of wood from adjacent lumber mills to reward X tiles from all discovered tiles. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to put a factory right there next to that lumber mill. So put that down just there. So the person goes away. OK, fast forward. OK, what does it do? I want to know what that does. So we've run out of wood for that. It's got 20 wood. So we can spend five wood to reward X tiles from all disc... What does that mean? I'm going to press... I'm going to right click. Um, okay. So it rewarded some tiles. Oh, wasteland. Okay, we need one more piece of wasteland. And we can get that turned into a volcano. But I suspect it's going to start raining before we get the next one. Botherations. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a bit strange, isn't it? So yeah, it can spend... What does it mean to reward X tiles from all discovered tiles? I don't know what that means. Okay, we're going to put wasteland there next to the mountain and hope that it doesn't rain. And then we'll put another bit just there because, again, that's next to the mountain. Speed time on. Got some kind of rubbishy meadows. I mean, they're very pretty. We like them as 1,211 points up to the next level. Okay, right, let's get this meadow down. Oh, and then it's just more kind of farmy stuff. Oh, and botherations. It started raining around the mountains. So the wasteland tiles have gone away. No volcano for Ruz, bother. Um, okay, let's just get all these tiles down. I want to get to the point where we can power up the city. I want to power up the city with wires and such like, because that's quite exciting. So, oh, look, the pirates are sailing around. That's good as well. Um, right, put that there for now. 
And then, yeah, we just get rid of all these. I'm just going to go and put these down and just have another great big load of kind of farming tiles lobbed around the place. Okay, all the farm stuff is out of the way. And now we have many, 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 many power lines. I'm not entirely sure how many of these we've got, but we have got a lot of them. At least one, two, three, four, five, six, at least eight of them, I think. I think we have got quite a lot more than that. So let's try and connect up that city there with the power station over here. So the city's connected to power stations with power lines will yield plus 25 points at the cost of 20 coal. Okay, so we want to really kind of connect that one up. That's a bit of a nuisance because that one there's only got 28 coal. That one there seems to be the primary power station. That's a bit of a nuisance. Unless, oh no, then we have to get rid of our factory. Oh dear. Okay, hang on. Let's connect that one up for now. So, power line down like that. Okay, so speed time on because this is going to take a little while. We need over a thousand points to get to the next level. I'm not entirely sure we can do that. So let's keep going, shall we? So plus five points just there. Speed time on. So many power lines. <laughs> just a, a ridiculous amount of power lines. Oh dear me. Right. And then, there we go. So that is now connected up, which is good. So how do we do that then? So cities connect to power lines, uh, power stations with power lines will yield 25 points at the cost of 20 coal. So do we have to, we don't want to right click because that's going to generate lots of power lines. We don't need that. So do we right click the city? Do we do that? No, I don't want to right click that. Maybe they'll just now start doing stuff. Maybe that's how that'll work. It'll just start sort of generating stuff. So, um, uh, we don't really need these other power lines for now. <laughs> how do we get rid of these? I'm just going to put one there. And then we'll just keep kind of blatting it out of existence. We'll just put some along here, look. Fill that bit up. There's a worker. Hello. Um, yeah. Eight coal. Ah, okay. That now has eight coal which does then lead me to believe that it did have more in, so it must have done the whole power line thing. Um, but that's nicking all the coal. That one there, that power station, is taking all the coal, and that one hasn't got any. Um, what if... What if we got rid of that? What if we got rid of that power station? And then eventually this one could get all the coal and power the city over there. Maybe that's what we need to do. So the moment that's got eight. So let's now see after this turn how much coal that next one has. So it's got, how many does it have? 16. So, okay, it is, no, that maybe that, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. So um, we're just gonna go through and just, <laughs> there's so many power lines. We'll fill in all the gaps, look, with power lines, because we do get points. We get five points for each power line. So just keep putting power lines in, it's all fine. We just bring some round here, look. We don't need the fields for anything, I don't think it's all fine. So, uh, right, hang on, I'm just gonna go and put down I don't know how many more we've got. Another 10, 15 of these. Oh, there we go. Look, there's some meadow down there. Um, so let's just keep going, shall we? Let's keep going until we've got many, many, many power lines all over the place. Um, do we want to upgrade that to a park? It's not going to do much up there, I don't think. I don't think it's going to do much. Joe, you know we could do to get a stack of points. We could use that monument's ability to just sort of hoover up all these tiles. Oh, no, hang on. But there's wasteland there. And we want to put a wasteland around that thing to become an oasis. Although, I don't really see it happening, to be honest. We have got some wasteland coming up. But maybe if there's three bits, we could use that to get ourselves a volcano, which would be exciting. Okay, I'm just going to carry on putting power lines down everywhere until they're all gone. And um, yeah, we'll get through to the point where we've got these meadows placed down as well. And then we'll see what we can do with this bit of wasteland. Okay, there is only the one bit of wasteland. And I think by the time we get another bit, it's going to be raining on the mountain and it'll turn it into marshland. And then we can't use it to get a volcano. So maybe for now, we'll just put it there. We'll pop that there around that lake. And then eventually, yeah, we'll have to get rid of that power station if we do get any more wasteland. I kind of feel like we have had quite a lot of that and we've not really been able to put it to much use. But uh, OK, back we go to meadows and things. Hang on a minute. We're just going <laughs> to just keep putting these tiles down. Um, a pasture tile that can just go up there for two points. I don't think we're going to reach the uh, extra. What is that? Almost 700 points. If we could get over 5000. That would be quite the achievement, I think. That would be quite good. I mean, yeah, do we... I don't want to hoover any of these things up, though, because these are all quite good. The monuments are all next to useful things. Although, hang on. The pirate... Hang on. The, that 
that was a fishing village once upon a time. The pirates have taken over. Okay, do they go out fishing? I don't think they go out fishing. So maybe, maybe it might be worth um, just uh, let's right click that and we'll get the points for all those tiles and then we can just fill it back in again. Joe, we're going to do that. There you go. All magic stuff happening. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. The fish come with us. We got a decent amount of points. Um, and now we've got a lake. Okay. Upgrades when surrounded with wasteland and monument tiles to produce an oasis. Oh, hang on a minute. If we put one just there, there's a monument there. Two wasteland tiles will do the job, but we are running out of tiles. Right, we get 15 points for that. That's okay. So pop that down. That's all good. Um, and then another one of those. We'll put that over the top of the pirate island thing. That's absolutely fine. Oh, no pirate islands anymore. Right, put that there. So they can generate some wood for the lumber mill thing. Um, how is that looking? We're going to right click on that. We're going to spend 10 stock. I don't know, to gain a faction of the factory. That's what we want. So we're going to make, yeah, five wood from the adjacent lumber mill. It's got 13 to get X tiles from all discovered tiles. I don't know what that means. Again, it's a pasture. That was disappointing. I don't want a pasture. We're going to do that again. And... Don't know if it did anything that time. Ah, however, we do now have a mountain. Um, where could we put that? We could put it there. But again, we need another couple of wasteland tiles. And I don't think we're going to get them. I don't know if we're going to get to 5,000 points. We'll put it there. Because why not? That'll do. It's interesting. Uh, don't think we can do any upgradey things. Okay, trees. Put the trees back over there because they can be chopped down by the um, by the lumber mill. That thing is generating 25 points again. So they must have got the decent amount of coal. Um, we'll put that up there because that can connect all the water. That's all good. Okay, we've got eight tiles left and we need about 103 points. Is that achievable? Oh, hang on a minute. I think we can see the tiles that we have left. So we only have eight left, and I think that's all we've got. So two meadow tiles, a fieldy tile, two more meadow tiles, a pasture, and a couple more meadows. That's a little bit disappointing. That's not very good, is it? They're all a bit bland and boring. Okay, can we get over 5,000 points then? That is now our big challenge. If we could get over 5,000 points, I think that would be pretty good. I'd quite like to do that. So let's get some meadows in over here, look. Because if we connect them, that's going to be quite good. I don't think we can do any upgrades with the people over there. That's another two points. But all these things around here are generating points. So I think, yeah, we've got points for powering up the town and such like. Um, so only two points for that. That is a bit rubbish. But there we go. Some more points for parks and things. Five tiles to get, what's that? It's about 75-ish points. Um, okay, three points for putting... Did... Wasn't that a meadow? Did they just turn that meadow into a field? Okay. Or did I just put a field down just there by accident? Oh, I thought I'd put... Oh, okay. I don't know. Hang on a minute. Did we have... Did I just accidentally put a field down just there? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought it was a meadow. Okay, never mind. Um, We'll put another... We'll put five for that. Put that meadow down there. That's quite good. Right, so now we're on 4939 with four tiles left. Can we... Hang on. How much wood is in there? Current stock, six. We could right-click the factory, can spend five wood from adjacent lumber mills to reward X tiles from all discovered tiles. We're going to get one more tile, although that didn't do anything. Did that do anything? I think we spent... Hang on, what does that do then? We spent the stuff on it. We spent the wood because it's gone down, but we didn't get any... X tiles from all discovered tiles rewarded. Oh, okay. I don't know what that means. And I'm not quite sure about that one. Um, this is a bit bland. This is only two points. However, could we right at the end here? Because we know that we know that... Oh, hang on. 300 foot. What if we... Hang on. Use the magic hoovering power of that. Hoover up all those things. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. If we could get another 204 points from just... Oh, hang on a minute. We'll use you. Yeah, there we go. That... Oh. Oh, using them sacrifices a turn. Oh, botherations. Okay, we've got a nice park though. So maybe, maybe, just to try to get 196 points, can we activate that thing and then activate that and just hoover up as many tiles as we can 
just to try to get as many points as we can. It'll destroy what's at the power station and the quarry and power lines and all that kind of stuff. But if we were over 5,000 points, I think that's quite good. But let's just see what we can do here. So that sacrifices our tile and we'll hoover up all those things. And that and that, that got us 102 points to the next level. And there we go. Oh, do you know what? For a first attempt, that is pretty good. We are very much in third place, very confidently, you know, safely in third place. Uh, we're not too far behind second place. And really, we're not that far behind first place. What's that, another, what, 1,200 points-ish? Do you know what? That's pretty good going. That is pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So there we go. We're in third place. Well done, Cabo and Thisha. Good job there. Good job. Very impressive. But you know, crept in into third place. I'm quite happy with that. I think for a first attempt, that was not too bad at all. And with that done, I think we can wrap things up for now with our little look at Tile Lands. And I've had a really good time with this. I've had a lovely time. It's been really enjoyable. And there is a lot more to the game than I thought there was. I thought, looking at the Steam Store page, it was just going to be a really sort of calm, laid back, almost idle kind of clicker game where we put down things onto a grid and make a little kind of villagey type thing. And that was sort of it. But no, there is a lot more going on. There are so many different things to kind of wrap your head around and try and remember and consider while you're playing. All the different kind of adjacency bonuses. And then, of course, all the different things that the other tiles can change into. So, you know, volcanoes that we didn't see, unfortunately, and villages and power stations and lumberjacks and pirate islands and all that kind of stuff. I bet there were other things that we didn't see as well. In fact, there is a thing here that says tile browser. Hang on. Does that show us what we did see and what we didn't see? Oh, so there were a few things that we didn't actually find. Okay, so we didn't see a lighthouse. Okay, so maybe, maybe that's a mountain surrounded by water. We didn't see an oasis, or we did try to get one of those, but we didn't get the wasteland tiles. That, I think, is an oil rig. That's the oil rig. I'm not quite sure how we get one of those. And then down here, that's the volcano. Okay, so really, we were only missing out on four tiles. Oh, no, hang on. And then, ooh, pyramids. Okay, there are some pyramids there as well, which I assume are a lot of wasteland tiles all in a big line or in a row or whatever I'm not quite sure but okay so we only missed out on what five tiles then so one two three four five yeah that's quite good that's quite good but yeah that's kind of one of the big things about the game learning how to actually get these kind of tiles generated and then you know, sort of appearing in your stack and all that kind of stuff I like that I like that I quite like the sort of the sort of the element of exploration and experimentation to make that work and also I really did like the little pirate ships that were sailing around as well when the pirates had islands that was quite a nice touch as well but yeah I think now that we've you know sort of firmly ended up in third place which is quite good we will wrap things up for now with our look at tile lands hopefully you did enjoy this if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time we found a whale pandas hello panda friend oh you're adorable good dear it was too dear penguin 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 peacock oh we've got an owl we've got manta rays parrots and there we go beavers yay yes it was an eagle it's a turtle we've got a narwhal we've got frogs this is i love this